hi everyone the previous videos you have studied was about the basic introduction of files that how to open a file how to close a file why files are needed and about the file mode this video is about the file input output functions there are two functions which we will be using for reading from the file and for writing in the file there are f read and f write f read is used to read from the file and f write is used to write in the file so i'll just uh, take you to the code and i have written example code over here and explain you the meaning of this code that how this code is working this is a code for f read so this is my file f read dot c uh, in this line we have created a file pointer in the previous video i explained you that why the file pointer is needed to create a file and uh, to access in the file to read or write in the file so file printed is file pointer is created like we have a keyword file and the star sign for a pointer and uh, you can i write the name fp and you can write any name here whatever you feel and uh, in this line we have create, created a character array that is a string of size 10 9 is for uh, the characters and uh, the 10th byte is for the null character in this line we have open the file in the read mode text.txt from the same folder where this f.c we have created because we haven't specified any of the path here in this block of code we are checking that if file does not exist then print file does not exist if fp is equal to is equal to null else what we have done we are reading from the file in the character array string this is the number that how many characters from the file we want to read this is the size that what we is what will be the size of each character which we will be reading from the file so character takes one byte so this is one this is 10 because we want to read 10 character from the file and this is the file pointer from which the characters will be read and in this line we will be printing the string which is written which is will be read from the file here i'll show you that we have created the file text.txt and hello is written in the file so now we'll just compile this code and run it we can see that hello is read from the file we do not have declared hello anywhere in the program hello is read from the file by this line and printed on the console this screen by this line so hello is read it from the file now let me just change this number to 2 now to only two characters will be read from file and two characters will be printed on the file i'll just compile and run you can see that from hello only h and e are read from file because of this thing because of this number so these are the number from which we want to or uh, the number the total number of characters which we want to read from file now this is all about f read this is how we read a character from the file and uh, one thing more i'll just change this mode to w we just compile it and run it you can see that nothing is printed on the screen because when we open the file in the write mode there is nothing written in the file uh, it remove all the contents of the file so there is nothing read from the file because nothing is written in the file we'll just again write hello in the file save it and close it and uh, compile it again and run it you can see that h and e again read from the file this is about the f read this is how we read a character read multiple number of characters from the file now i'll just uh, change the string in the file i'll write space hello world i'll just save it and uh, close it i'll just uh, compile it and like 10 and run it it is hello world now five this character hello six the space 7 8 9 10 so these 10 characters are read from the file and uh, it is printed on the screen so if you give a space in the screen and uh, uh, the the string which uh, is written read from the file if it has if it has space then the space is also read from the file so this is about f read in the program and uh, this is all about the f write function now in the next video we'll explain you about the f write function thank you